Well, hello there, and thank you so kindly for listening. This is Rhonda Del Baccio, and welcome back to another magical story. When you click through the link in the show notes, you can actually go to my blog, which is Magical Stories by Rhonda, which is R O N D A dot WordPress dot com. And of course, all my social links and everything else are there as well. So this week, there is uh, this story is a photo, this week's photo prompt from that challenge that I do all the time, which is Friday Fictioneers. There's a photo and it shows a rainbow and it's over a uh, port with a bunch of ships in it. And in this thing, all your story needs to do is touch on it in some way. So you know, my story is not about boats. But before I read my story, which is called Fancy Shawl Dance Battle, I will let you know that I do have books that are everything from uh, self-help to business to paranormal to magical realism, and they're available on Amazon or wherever you get your books. So here is this week's story, which is actually a memoir of a time I danced fancy shawl at a powwow in Colorado Springs that took place at the college out there. Fancy shawl dance battle. At powwow, all are welcome. I danced fancy with a borrowed beaded shawl. In a Native American style dance battle, drummers beat faster and faster. Those who could not keep up stepped aside. Playing along, I faced the drummers. Part of the game is stopping precisely on the last drum beat. They faked intent to stop several times, fooling numerous dancers. I followed the energy. At last, the frenzied beat stopped with a great cry, leaving the drummers and I panting. Cheers, which I assumed honored someone else, erupted. When I looked around, I discovered I was the only dancer remaining. That was a lot of fun. And to be honest, when I got started in that dance, I didn't know they were going to dance battle us. In fact, apparently others didn't too, because some of the Native Americans were like, oh, they didn't warn people they were going to do that. And, you know, someone who looks like a white woman ends up being the last one standing. It was funny. <laughs> I'm only white in the color of my flesh. That's not to say what my spirit is. Anyway, I certainly appreciate you for uh, sharing that little memory with me. And <clears throat> excuse me for coming back to read. I appreciate you so much. And uh, I hope you will keep coming back. So I will have more magical stories for you. You can follow through the link to my site. You can also see all my social uh, links for Facebook and Twitter and all of that in the notes. So I hope that you will rate and review. And as always, cheers to your blissful life.